Good Monday evening, everybody, from the News Channel 3 home office backyard. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with the latest edition of News Channel 3's astronomy video blog, Weather o or Sky Blog 3, Weather Overtime is our weather blog. We'll be recording that coming up a little bit later on this evening. Election Eve in the Mid-South area and looking at more clouds and some more rainfall potential as we go into the rest of the evening. So we are not going to be getting too much to worry about in the way of clear skies out there. As you can see from over my shoulder, we've got, again, a decent amount of cloud cover out across much of the area, so not really seeing too much in the way of hope for anything involving clear skies or viewing of any good stars out there for this evening. So what does it look like out there for tonight? Well, taking a look at our satellite picture, visible satellite image from the last several hours, courtesy of Penn State Meteorology Satellite Information. And showing again a decent amount of cloud cover out there moving up from the southwest. That's going to be continuing across the mid-south into the course of the rest of the evening. So again, good viewing conditions out there. Maybe you might be able to see the moon through some of the clouds if it gets weak enough. That cloud cover out there. But beyond that, it does not look good, unfortunately, for anything involving good scar gazing out there for this evening. We do have some showers out across parts of the mid-south. Currently on radar as of early... Monday evening, we do have, again, some scattered light activity showing up and more activity expected into overnight tonight and into tomorrow, Election Day. Probably going to need to take the umbrella with you because we may be looking at the possibility of even more showers out there. We need the rainfall, no question about that, but if you're an outdoors enthusiast and want to see some stars tonight, maybe some meteors from the torrid meteor shower peaking this next week, not going to happen. What about clouds on other planets? How about taking a look around into around the area of Mars from the Planetary Society at planetary.org. Some amazing pictures, animated GIF files, if you'd like to see what these look like. Great opportunity to see some exometeorology in progress. Exometeorology, the study of weather on other planetary bodies in the solar system, whether it's planets or moons. You can see, again, some of the cloud cover out across parts of the area captured by the satellites orbiting Mars and able to see, again, fog and dust being kicked up by some of those very powerful winds that they have there. If you read the book The Martian, you got a pretty good idea as to how powerful some of those winds can be, and even better views of this on the website. So if you'd like to take a look at that, instead of taking a look at what I managed to record with the camera here, you can go to planetary.org or go to their uh, Twitter site as well, and more information will be posted on there. Great opportunity to learn more about weather in other parts of the solar system besides our own planet. So what do you do when you don't have anything going on and you have to stay inside? Well, there are some good websites to listen to that are going to be showing you a little bit more about what it sounds like out there. And this is just one of those places you can go to. What you're listening to, the pings and beeps and whistles in the background, that's a waterfall display measuring radio frequencies. It's livemeteors.com. You can hear the meteors slam into the atmosphere, burn up, and the radio waves are reflected back to a receiver, and that's what you're hearing. So you don't actually have to go outside to enjoy a meteor shower. You can actually listen to it on the web. Where do you go to for this? All you have to do is go to livemeteors.com, and you can listen in on this information coming on through. This is the type of thing that I could listen to for hours. It's absolutely incredible to hear. The one over at Space Weather Radio does not appear to be working at this time. So this is a good place to go to, which is in continuous operation. It's very cool to listen to, especially when it comes to meteor showers, and there's going to be that peaking. The torrid meteor shower will be peaking later on this Friday, so a good opportunity to hear more of those pings and whistles out there as those trails ionize in the atmosphere and cause those radio waves to be reflected back down toward the ground. So a great opportunity, again, at livemeteors.com. We'll be posting more websites and more information at our astronomy blog, that's Skyblog3, which you're watching right now. We'll be posting that at wreg.com slash weather. Again, not much to see for tonight. Unfortunately, it'd be nice if we had that, but just not really looking at anything in the way of good viewing conditions out there for this evening. Hopefully clearing up by this end of the week so we can see some more of the torrid meteors taking place, which is, should be a pretty good show around parts of the Mid-South area and beyond. You want to be as far away from city lights as you possibly can because those can interfere with seeing things and not to mention the moon that is up there someplace is going to be again shrouded with light that's going to be reflecting back from the sun so it's going to be very difficult to see those meteors just well enough as it is it's a fairly moderate shower so not looking at a lot of activity with this one but the less moonlight you have the better and unfortunately the moon is heading toward full so as it gets brighter it's going to be more difficult to see those meteors 
taking place across parts of the Mid-South and points beyond. So you want to be as far away from city lights as you possibly can, and that'll be a good viewing condition there. But we'll be posting more about that throughout the rest of the week, so keep it tuned here for more information on Skyblog 3. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik from the News Channel 3 Home Office Backyard. Don't forget to keep looking up. With anything involving science or astronomy, good opportunity to get out and take a look at the night sky with your kids and learn more about science in the Mid-South area. Stay tuned to News Channel 3 for more updates on your astronomy blog, Skyblog 3.